All right, well, let's talk about four recurring inputs to planning processes, specifically those planning processes in scope, schedule, cost, and risk. Now, I've talked about this in the past, but let's call it up one more time. In plan scope management, plan schedule management, plan cost management, and plan risk management, we've got four recurring themes. Four of these recurring inputs, the project management plan, the project charter, EEFs, and OPAs. Once you understand that, as you see them, you don't even need much effort to remember, oh yeah, it's those four, and I know what they are, okay? So know what these are early, and it will save you time. The second piece of these recurring themes are in the tools and techniques, again, for scope, schedule, cost, and risk. In plan scope management, plan schedule management, plan cost management, and plan risk management, you have expert judgment and meetings all the time. They're always present. Now, side note, analytical techniques is also used as a technique in all of these except in scope management. And the way I get around it is thinking about schedule and cost and risk being slightly more mathematical and analytical. And for that reason, we need analytical techniques. That's how I get around remembering that. And scope, not so much mathematical, and that's why we don't have it in there. So just bear that in mind. And you know, the PMBOK guide changes from edition to edition. You know, next edition, who knows? They might throw analytical techniques somewhere else. But for now, just use that as a way of remembering. So at a high level, we've got these yellow ones, the four recurring ones in scope, the four recurring ones in schedule, the four recurring ones in cost, and in risk. But look, in risk, we've also introduced a stakeholder register. That is one of the additions to risk management. But if you go backwards and forwards, you see those four yellow boxes all the time. How about the tools and techniques? Take a look at those two reds. You see them again and again and again. But in risk, you've got analytical, in cost, you've got analytical, and in schedule, you've got analytical. So those recurring themes will end up being quite helpful for you as you cover these four significant areas in the PMBOK guide.